Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at some freeware scenery offered by normally payware publishers. Uh, this is scenery by Orbix, O-R-B-X, and also Aerosoft, both very familiar from FSX and uh, x 11 as well. So the first scenery I'm going to take a look at is the Orbix scenery for OG20 and this is only available on Orbix Central which is their installer program. Now a good thing is that Orbix Central knows that it can install to a separate folder outside your Flight Sim uh, main package folder and just create a link into the package folder so you can install this anywhere which is good because it's 600 megabytes and you know with if you have a lot of airports that are each 600 megabytes, it's going to pile up pretty darn quickly. And the Aerosoft scenery is going to be 3.6 gigabytes. Now, I haven't installed that yet, so I don't know whether it's going to uh, create, be able to create a link as well, but I might manually do that. 3.6 gigabytes for an airport is hefty. So what we want to assess is whether it's worth it <laughs> and, and also whether we have frame rate impact, right? So to do that, I'm going to fly at the airports uh, without the scenery. So I've, I haven't installed the scenery yet here. This is going to be the default version of the airport. And I'm going to make sure that we can see stuff. So um, the time is fine, but the live weather might be a little bit... Um, let's just go clear skies so we can take a look at everything. Now I don't have a frame rate counter per se, but I'll just let you see the quality of it and you can assess whether it's good enough or not. Uh, so here we are. This is what it looks like in the stock program. So we'll take a look at what it is in the stock program. I'll let it load a little bit. I'll put a link to the Aerosoft page, but because the Orbix scenery is downloaded through their Orbix Direct program uh, or Orbix Central program, uh, you can just go to orbixdirect.com and uh, get Orbix Central and work from there. So. You won't, uh, there's no particular web page for the freeware scenery for OG20. So here we are in the Diamond DA62, and we might as well take it from outside. So this is what it looks like. And throttling up. And again, I, of course, I'm recording and flying at the same time. So if you've got the same hardware and I've got an i7-4790K running at 4 gigahertz and I've got 32 gigs of RAM and I've got an RTX 2070. So if you've got something comparable, you should do better, not worse, uh, because I'm recording on the same system at the same time. Oop, a little bit premature there. Okay. So we see sort of a house built there. There's some very lackluster facilities for this stock airport here. I don't know if this building is going to be included with the scenery, I doubt it. Uh, let's just get a sense of the surroundings. There's some buildings over here. Two runways, actually. I mean, grass strips, but still. Okay, so... I think you get a sense of the thing. I'll land back down. I don't remember if I've ever landed to DA-62, so... Let's let's uh, fly over that building and land. That might not be the, an appropriate direction, but we'll see. There's a fair-sized town out here, so that's nice. Okay. Actually, the airstrip is a little bit off to the side of that building. That's good. Okay. Since it slopes upward like this, this might be the better direction to land in, actually. Okay, so there we have it. 
So this is what it looks like stock. And let's add in the Orbix scenery. Okay, well, it certainly took longer to load the scenery. Anyway, uh, it is manifestly different. We've got some fence work here. Get some power lines, too. Okay, well, but let's fly around. Okay, so throw up. And taking it from outside. I mean, this is very different, obviously. Wonder where the buildings are. I feel like I shouldn't be on the grass. Maybe over here instead. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have the bushes on the runway like that. They should really trim them back, huh? Okay, gear up. I don't know uh, if this is. I think this has changed, but I'm uh, flying in a different direction. So let's just take around, uh, look around, because we didn't see that big building. We need to see where that big building is. I think a lot of this area has changed, though. I don't remember these stripes here. Um, is that supposed to look like that? That's pretty avant-garde. But, okay. Anyway, let's fly over the main buildings of the OG-20 airport. I will readily admit it seems a little bit more hesitant. Uh, we'll have to fly lower than that. I don't know. Maybe I should just drive up to these to check them out. Can I do this? Hangers for rent, huh? On the Orbix Central, they don't have a lot of photos of it, so I can't tell whether I've got it right or not. We definitely landed uh, on this runway from the building direction, so it didn't have this little grass strip in the middle when we landed last time. Okay, final flyby. Then we'll move on to the Aerosoft. Aerosoft one. Okay, let's take a look at the airport that the Aerosoft freeware scenery modifies before we modify it. It's the 3.5 gigabyte package, so yeah, let's be sure about that. <laughs> EDLP. So Paderborn Lipstad Airport is the one we want. And we will uh, reduce time a little bit. And we're sticking with clear skies. All right, uh, so here we are. Paderborn Tower Diamond Oscar Echo. Kilo Echo November at runway 24 ready for takeoff straight out departure. And same plane. And I'll let it... Uh, load things as necessary okay it looks like it's finished loading all right uh, once again we'll take it from outside because we're trying to look at the scenery so here we go oh there's another plane no wait for me
He's probably taken off already. I'm heavier, I think. Okay, so this is EDLP. That guy's still down there, actually. I just don't want to... I, I, I guess there's no collisions, but still. So there's some facilities over here, but I don't know what they're supposed to look like. There's certainly not 3.5 gigabytes worth, <laughs> so we can expect quite a different sort of situation. I don't know if there's supposed to be a tower, but I don't see one here. There are some towns nearby, but uh, nothing directly adjacent to it. Nice trees, of course. We'll just buzz the airport. There's a house here. Seems like there are only facilities over to the left here. Airliners, okay, lots and lots of parking. Lots and lots of parking. This uh, airport has all the markers and everything. Look at that line. So, no problems. Okay, get down. Okay, so we're down. Let me install this airport and see what it looks like in all of its many gigabyte glory. Okay, now the 3.5 gigabyte Aerosoft scenery. Okay, well, this loaded up rather quickly, actually. Cleared for takeoff uh, runway two for yeah, Diamond Kilo interesting. November. Yeah, that was uh, that was quicker loading than I thought a 3.5 gigabyte airport would be. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Gosh, that, that bonanza again. I don't know if it's the same bonanza, but. I'm gonna go off to one side just in case the bonanza wants to go to the right. Well, uh, the ground textures seem more detailed. Don't sink. Don't sink. That's uh, sort of a different character to these buildings, I think, than we had before. And the parking lots have rather changed, haven't they? Yeah, this is much more detailed. I think there's even a tower there. Yeah, it's very clear that the facilities here are more detailed and likewise not bad. Now, it should be noted that the Aerosoft scenery installed to the main packages folder and didn't give me an option to install to a different folder. 
so it has the benefit of running off of an SSD whereas the Orbix scenery was running off of a regular hard drive but certainly that would lead this to be quicker loading but I sure don't have a whole lot of room for a lot of three gigabyte airports on my SSD so that's gonna be a thing Let's just get a sense of the periphery. I didn't notice those windmills before, but that might have been just my my bad there. Okay, uh, I'll try and land back at it. Okay, well, a little bit off to the side here, but... Well, okay, let's try a taxiway here. Uh, yeah. Ground tour time. Oh, it's got some fancy little swirls on it. Uh, let me just go this way, though. Well, so this is what it looks like. Now, we didn't get an up-close view of it uh, previously, but I doubt it had Paderborn Lipstadt written on it. Well, you never know with the stock scenery, though. I really should have uh, landed here and taxied around. But okay, yeah, this is very convincing scenery, all right. So with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.